हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास दिस इज सेकंड क्लास इन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग चैप्टर इन फर्स्ट क्लास वी लर्न ऑल द डेफिनेशंस बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस चैप्टर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिकॉल द थिंग्स दैट यू लर्न इन लीनियर इनइक्वालिटीज चैप्टर क्लास 11 इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न हाउ टू ग्राफ एन इनइक्वालिटी how to draw the graph of an inequality i did two problems in this especially in second problem when a line is passing through origin at that time graphing the inequality is little difficult many students feel difficult to graph an inequality when a line is passing through an origin before going to start this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends so let's begin the class in class 11 linear inequalities chapter we learn how to graph an inequality now we'll just quickly recall how to graph this inequality actually graphing the inequality is nothing but finding the solution of the inequality like for what values of x and y satisfies this inequality finding the points which satisfies this inequality you observe here x plus 2y less than or equal to 8 x plus 2y strictly less than it actually both are same only the difference is in inequality here less than or equal to is there and here it is strictly less than is there both are almost similar first we will draw graph of this inequality see to draw the graph of this inequality you need to draw the line x plus 2y equal to 8 so i'll draw this straight line now x plus 2y equal to 8 you please observe here two points are there i'll draw one line passing through these two points can you draw another different line passing through same two points can you draw another different line passing through same two points no passing through two points we will get one unique line okay so to draw this line equation i need two points on the line okay to find two points on this line you just mark it table like this in this one x y coordinate is 0 one x coordinate is 0 you like that you write now you put y equal to 0 in this equation if you put y equal to 0 in this equation what you will get you will get x equal to 8 so one point we identified that point is 8 0 now put x equal to 0 in this equation when we put x equal to 0 what you will get 2y equal to 8 y equal to 4 you will get so this is 0 comma 4 now we identified two points on this line to draw the graph of this line you take one graph sheet and you mark the points as the points are 8 comma 0 uh, 0 comma 4 i'll take like this 2 4 Six, eight, uh, two, four, six, eight. Okay. Now identify the points. Eight comma zero. Eight comma zero point is here. Another point is zero comma four. Okay. Here important thing is, as here inequality is there, na no? less than or equal to, less than or equal to. As equality sign is there, you just draw normal line. in case if it is strictly less than is there then we will draw dotted line as i am drawing graph of this now as it is less than or equal to you just draw normal line passing through these two points so what is this line this line you name this line this line is x plus 2y equal to 8 this is line x plus 2y equal to 8 what we are trying for we are trying to graph this inequality what are the x and y values satisfies this inequality if you observe this graph uh, if you observe this straight line for this line two sides are very clear this side is non origin side that means in this side origin is not there and this side is origin side in this side origin is there right 
so for this line two sides are there this is known as origin side and this is known as non origin side so as here for this line is clearly having origin side non origin side i'll put 0 comma 0 in the given inequality put 0 comma 0 in x plus 2y less than or equal to 8 you put 0 comma 0 in this inequality put what you will get 0 plus 2 into 0 0 less than or equal to 8 that is nothing but 0 less than or equal to 8 so this is true once you got true when we put 0 comma 0 in the given inequality if it is true then we will shade origin side you please observe the shaded part the shaded part is the solution of the given inequality you see here the shaded part is there na? this shaded part is the solution of this inequality what it mean it means that if you take any point suppose if we take a point here that point definitely satisfies this inequality for example you can see here 2 comma 2 is in this shaded region substitute the point 2 comma 2 in this what you will get 2 plus 2 into 2 that is 4 less than or equal to 8 that is 2 plus 4 is 6 6 is less than 8 it is true or not yes 6 is less than 8 is true so like that if you take any point in this shaded region that point is solution of this inequality so now you understand how to draw the graph of this inequality here less than or equal to is there that's why graph is like this here important thing is as less than or equal to is there we drawn a normal line huh? it indicates that we can choose point on the line the points on the line definitely satisfies this inequality this tells you that we can consider the points on the line the points on the line are also solution of this inequality in case you need to graph this inequality x plus 2y strictly less than 8 same procedure first uh, we'll uh, draw the line for x plus 2y equal to 8 by taking two points on the line and then we'll put 0 comma 0 in this you will get true we'll shade like this only the difference is when strictly less than is there whatever whatever the line you are drawing that line must be a dotted line like this see you observe here we are drawing the graph of this inequality for this as strictly less than is there we drawn a dotted line this dotted line indicates that we are not considering points on the line because the points on the line does not satisfy this inequality only shaded part is then on shaded part whatever the point you take if you substitute in this it definitely satisfies this inequality i hope you understand how to draw the graph of inequality and one more thing here uh, this inequality is there now you are drawing the graph of this in case if you got false here suppose if you got false here then what you will do other than origin side non origin side is there now that non origin side will shade drawing the graph of this inequality many students confuse to draw the graph of this inequality to draw this line generally we will follow this table method you put y0 in this equation if you put y0 then you will get x0 you put x0 in this equation then you will get y0 so that indicates that this line passing through the origin actually to draw the unique line you need at least two points on the line equation to draw the line equation but here we know only one point no problem in straight lines chapter we learn about this you see this can be written as y equal to mx you take minus y to the uh, right hand side part then 2x equal to y which is nothing but y equal to 2x here you need to know some basic things y equal to mx y equal to mx is a straight line passing through origin here if m is positive then the line like this it lies in first and third quadrant this is y equal to mx line y equal to mx is a straight line passing through origin when m is positive when m is positive then you will get line equation like this y equal to mx okay if uh, y equal to mx when m is negative when m is negative the line passing through origin but it lies in second and fourth quadrant 
this is the line when m is negative okay you learn that y equal to mx is a straight line passing through origin it may lies in first and third quadrant or it may lies in second and fourth quadrant so here you see this is of the form y equal to mx m is positive then what you know this is the line passing through origin and which lies in first and third quadrant so to draw this line i'll take the graph sheet draw the line y equal to 2x y equal to 2x is a line passing through origin and it lies in just rough diagram you draw you draw a line like this passing through origin which lies in uh, first and third quadrants right what is this line this line is y equal to 2x in case y equal to minus 2x if you want to draw the line y equal to minus 2x as m is negative then the line will come like this okay up to here it is okay now how to find solution of this inequality generally uh, for all the lines till now what we done for that origin side non origin side like that it is there if you observe this this line passing through origin now for this line origin side non origin side is not present so then what to do very simple you take a point on any one side of the line and you make sure uh, that point is clearly of which side you observe this point 3 comma 0 clearly this side of the line no confusion in that correct 3 comma 0 is clearly this side of the line so what i'll do i'll put 3 comma 0 not only 3 comma 0 you can take a, a 0 comma 3 also you, you see here you can take 0 comma 3 also but make sure that point is which side i'm taking 3 comma 0 3 comma 0 in 2x minus y less than or equal to 0 substitute in this okay uh, what you will get when you put uh, 3 comma 0 in this 2 into 3 is 6 6 minus 0 less than or equal to 0 so what you got you got 6 less than 0 6 less than 0 is false actually 6 is greater than 0 you got 6 less than 0 that means false you got in if you got false now as you got false you taken point this side now here this is the point 3 comma 0 and you got false as you got false other side the where this point is there that side you do not shade you shade the other side you look here this side you need to shade <coughs> because it is false after substituting a point in case if you got true which side you taken point that side you need to shade i hope you are understanding as you taken point 3 comma 0 this side as you got it as false other than this side that means this side you need to shade so you observe the shaded region is there no? that shaded region is the solution of this inequality you take any point in the shaded region that definitely satisfies this inequality for example this point is 0 comma 3 no? substitute 0 comma 3 here what you will get uh, 0 minus 3 less than or equal to 0 minus 3 less than 0 yes it is true it satisfies so whatever the points if you take on the shaded region that satisfies this inequality here less than or equal to is there no? that's why we drawn this normal line this normal line indicates that the points on the line are also satisfies this inequality the points on the line are also solution of given inequality i hope you understand this solution if you like this video please drop a like and share it with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.